Between 1911 and 1973, 84 young men died at the Dozier School for Boys, a juvenile justice facility in Mariana, Florida. But now only 31 crosses dot the historic Boot Hill Cemetery where some of their bodies rest. What's sort of unknown is whether those crosses really correspond to actual graves and what the real perimeter of the cemetery is. A USF research team is working to get those answers. We look for historical documentation and records. We look at witness interviews and what people say who have first-hand knowledge about the graves in the cemetery. The group is mapping the Panhandle site using a number of methods like ground-penetrating radar. It basically uh, sends a radar pulse into the ground and gives us a picture or at least an impression of what's below the surface. The slow process looks for anomalies. If it's a very dense object, it shows up very brightly. If it's a sort of dense area, it shows up less so. Once anomalies are identified, graduate students perform ground truthing, digging trenches to look for more clues. So the intention is to not disturb the actual burial itself, but to look at the um, layers of soil above the grave and use that to indicate where the ground has been disturbed and where it's natural. Actual excavation would be up to the relatives of the deceased boys, but the researchers hope to at least play a part in solving this complicated puzzle. There are questions that the public and families have, and hopefully this will answer some of those questions. For University Beat, I'm Mark Schreiner. For more information about this University Beat or to view previous segments, log on to WUSF.org and click on the University Beat link.